Okay, this is a really easy audio amplifier circuit that's uh, based on the circuit from uh, SciToys.com, one watt audio amplifier. Um, they call for a 9 volt battery with a 50 ohm resistor and um, basically a Darlington transistor, an MPS W45A. Um, and here I've got 6 volt battery which is a, running the circuit at about 4.5 volts and um, two small MPNs I believe 2N4401s and then this larger is a TIP31 I think and um, those are all wired like a Darlington uh, but this larger one kinda helps serve as uh, somewhat of a heat sink also but um the circuit basically calls for uh, two uh, 100k resistors. Um, one goes from the base to the collector, the other one goes to the base to the emitter. And uh, <coughs> basically gets the amplification going in the transistors, and then you take your audio input and you run um, one of your signal lines to the base. And um, as it is right now with the four and a half volts, so we go ahead and go on. It draws about 125 milliamps, about four and a half volts. And um, it's one of these speakers are uh, six ohm speakers, and they seem to work so much better than um, the other little smaller speakers that you might find out there. Uh, like this guy right here. This guy did not work very good at all. But, uh, of course, the circuit is mono. Um, I'm go ahead and play it. See if I can turn my, uh, thing on. The cheap MP3 player, um, this thing that I'm using here seems to have, uh, a little bit lower of a signal than your average, average MP3 player. Probably a uh, cell phone. Yeah, so you hear the music coming out of the speaker. Right now, the volume is really low. It's late, I got roommates, I don't want to turn it up too loud. But now it's halfway, that's halfway. Four and a half volts, 130 milliamps. It's not very good for a little amplifier, but it gets pretty loud. Anyway, cut that back down. But anyway, um, one thing that I was trying to figure out is how to make it stereo. Of course, you know, I've got uh, one, technically one transistor, and I've got, coming off my audio jack, you know, I've got a left and a right signal, and then I've got my ground. Ground's going to ground, and then my signal is going to the base, and I can only have one at a time. Um, and I'm really not sure which is which with the way this is. Uh, it seems like one actually sounds different than the other. So I figure, uh, I don't know, one's got to be left and right um, signals. But at any rate, um, when I use my computer as uh, to provide the music output, I can't use the uh, balance. The balance doesn't really do anything. I, I figure I could be able to slide the balance all the way one left or right one way and it should cut the volume all the way down and it doesn't. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong with these audio jacks. Uh, I've just got these this capacitor in series uh, with the output uh, audio signal just because um, 
it wouldn't work without the capacitor. I guess it's too much distortion otherwise. Um, but I decided that maybe I could make a whole other circuit, which I did to accommodate the other signal coming from the uh, audio jack. And I tried that, and um, it worked. All sound came out of there, but it was still mono, and I couldn't figure out why um, the balance control didn't work. So I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong there. Somebody can help me out with that. Um, but other than that, it's pretty decent. It gets really loud uh, from the input. And at the same time, um, if you use a higher ohm speaker, then you can dr really drop down the uh, draw. So you can use maybe like three AA batteries, and um, they won't die very fast. But I know that basically just, of course, because the higher resistance, less of a draw. But I tried putting this other speaker in series with that one, and um, while it pretty much gave out the same sound, I couldn't really notice a difference other than the fact that I could uh, space them apart to give a little bit of a uh, surround sound in mono, you know. Um, it did drop the draw down a lot, of course. Uh, so that's one benefit of either having a higher ohm speaker or um, having more than one. Uh, but that would defeat the purpose of making it portable. But at any rate, um, no, that was a pretty little decent deal. Uh, very simple. Um, Psi, CSI, or uh, SCI-TOYS.com. That's where it's at. Um, but this circuit here, I wasn't able to uh, make it like they said. I don't, I don't have that resistor or transistor, but it seemed to work fine with uh, two 4401s and a TIP31 and a uh, Darlington setup that makes it so you can crank a little more current. Um, but it's interesting um, either way when you build it because you get to see a little bit more of what's going on with the um, transistors because uh, you know no matter how much I crank up the signal from this little guy's amplifier um, it doesn't affect any of the draw or anything in this circuit uh, that's already provided by the resistors and um, that signal coming through here, no matter what it is, it just gets amplified more and more. Um, the higher it is coming through, the more it gets amplified. The lower it is, uh, the less it gets amplified. But the circuit's always drawing a constant uh, because of these two resistors, which are identical 100K and speaker in series uh, with the input and the collector. So. I don't know, pretty good deal. Cut it on one more time. See what we got here. If I can find something that's really not annoying, turn that up all the way real quick.